I got a really exciting fig to share with you guys today. And I've really been wanting to make another video of this, this particular variety ever since last year. And I know that this is kind of like a, it's kind of like a jungle back here, guys. Um, we got jujubes here at my right, jujubes to my left, a persimmon that's gonna eventually get pretty big. That's a seedling actually. Even have a fig tree young that's planted here with all these flowering plants around me. Bumblebees, I got mosquitoes all over me. And then even right here is a citrus tree. Behind me are the figs, and then even against the house is a grapevine called Everest Seedless. It's kind of similar to a Concord grape, my Mars grape. It's really good, actually. I'm gonna try to put these branches on top of each other, get them out of my way. But what is over here, actually, is a variety called Green Michurinska. And I have some fruits down here that are ripening. And we had, I had one, um, I think like two days ago. Very, very good. This one down here is ripe. Looks like something actually bit off a part of it, which is not uncommon because the birds have been getting in here and the, uh, I think the groundhog's been eating a lot of fruits, maybe even the squirrels. What I need to do is put a chicken wire all the way around this whole thing to keep all those those things out but the birds will still get in you know not the end of the world but if I can keep the squirrels and the groundhog out I'd be happy with that anyway back to this variety is that it was so good last year then I saw a photo of it on the internet that really impressed me and we talked about it in the winter time and um, I was really excited for this particular fruit for next year because I knew I would get a lot more as this is, I think, really its second or third year now in the ground. And uh, it's supposed to be quite an early fig. Like, it's uh, Green Michurinska from Bulgaria. There's a collector there that kind of introduced it to the United States. And a couple growers have had it. And I managed to get a hold of it. And uh, it's very, very good. So it should be early. And people that's what kind of people were talking about, that it's an earlier... Adriatic fig and the Adriatics are those green skinned red interior strawberry tasting fruits that are similar to green Aishia but I'll tell you that this isn't even really that I don't think it is after tasting the one the other day I just really don't believe that this is even classified as an Adriatic type I think this is its own fig that I think is just similarly colored although this is yellow on the outside rather than maybe staying a bit green um, the inside is red as I'll show you guys but it's a different kind of red it's not very different fig I think personally than your typical Adriatic and that was what the deal was like people that's what people were saying Adriatic but like I said, I don't think this is really that similar at all. And, you know, to have an earlier ripening green Aishia, I think the, the, hunt, the hunt for that is still on. So if that's what people are interested in and that's what people want to find, you got to look somewhere else because that's not what this is. And let me try it right now. It's very, very good. This fruit reminds me of not of an Adriatic, but actually more along the lines of um, a well-ripened hardy Chicago. Um, what else does it remind me of? Let me cut this other piece off here so I can eat this without potentially getting sick. So it's got... It's got pretty good berry flavor, but it's not like um, a super intense berry flavor that you would find in those strawberry flavored green Aishia Adriatic figs. It's just not. It's very sweet. It's nice and thick, but it's got some good um, syrupiness to it. Overall, it's a very good eating fig, and I think it could even potentially dry on the tree a bit here. It produces well. Um, it doesn't seem to need a ton of light. 
as this tree has been quite shaded and it still is producing. Actually, here's another fruit down here. Be ready in a couple days as well as this one. Um, what is interesting is that the vigor is very high. It's almost as high as this long to do behind it. It may even be right along the lines of long to do. So that it's a very high vigor variety. It produces a lot of fruits. It's fantastic. Everything about it, I think, is wonderful. The shape is good. I think it even has some good drying, potentially some good drying capabilities to it. Um, it's got everything. It really does. And you know what's interesting about this, this fruit up, or this tree I'll show you guys, is that you might think about long to do of having these long finger-like leaves to them, right? I mean, that's typically what we see, is it gets these long finger-like leaves. And you could identify this tree based on these long fingers of being able long to do. But here's green Michurinska, the same long fingers to it. Um, and you would not even know, I'm gonna be honest, you wouldn't even know that they were different trees. The leaves are so similar, just by chance, that I planted them next to each other, not even knowing that the, the leaf pattern would be the same. But the, the leaf pattern is basically exactly the same. So it's like, why would you compare the leaves? You know what I mean? The fruits are so vastly different that even just looking at the leaves is kind of like just a horrible, just dumb idea, you know? And I think actually those kind of leaves really help it grow. I think typically figs with these longer fingers, I see them have higher vigor on average than other varieties. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's something to do with the sun kind of hitting these leaves, you know, and uh, the way it's able to capture it and photosynthesize it or whatever. But yeah, very impressive variety. Green Michurinska from Bulgaria, from a I think Bulgarian grower, and uh, I'm glad to have it. It's a very good producer. I don't know still how early it is. I know people are gonna wonder, well, how early is it, Ross? I don't know. I probably would need to grow it in a pot for a couple years or keep it in the ground for a couple years. I'm not too concerned with the earliness of these varieties anymore. Um, having the greenhouse extension that I have with these low tunnels and everything. Um, I don't know how hardy it is, although I believe it's supposed to be quite a hardy variety. Being grown in Bulgaria in a zone seven there, it does really well. So it has all the, has all the qualities you look for. Vigor, should have some good hardiness. It's got it all the flavors there. I'm a big fan of the fruits. Not an Adriatic. We'll see you soon. Take care.